Hello Fiction Sheiks, welcome back to my channel. I am Joanna, we are doing day 14 of 31 days of Halloween. Two weeks in, whoa. Um, we're doing an elf, I'm already dressed for it because I had class this morning, so I just went to class like this. <laughs> Not surprising, I dress weird every day. Anyway, we're gonna get to makeup. Y'all know I can't contour, but I like to try, so I'm gonna be using the dark brown out of this Lorac palette as a shade. Still from the Lorac palette, I'm using a shade that is slightly lighter than my skin to use as a highlight and to blend out the edges of the shadows. Starting eye makeup off with the color Firefly from this Milo Pony ColourPop palette on my lids. Blending that into the color Snuzzle, which is silver, and dragging it under my eyes. Now coming in with the color Butterscotch and adding that to the inner corners. Using the black from this Perfect Nine color palette in the crease and a little under the inner corner of my eye to bring out the shadows. Lining my eyes with a Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner. Rocket Mascara, using it on my lashes and to darken my brows. These are some Andrea Mod lashes. I wanted full lashes, but still realistic lashes, so I thought these would work well. For lips, I'm using Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Mousse in the color Blue Oasis. I don't know why it's called blue, because this is definitely gray. Back to Maybelline Eyeliner to draw on some Elven markings. Alright, <laughs> I am done trying to draw on my face. I am horrible at line work. Like, this is a mess, but I'm not redoing it. But, I mean, the rest is cute. Hey everybody, it's Editing Joanna. My mouth is blue because I had a candy cane. I filmed the outfit portion with my phone and so something happened with the file. I don't know what, but the movement is like slightly off like y you'll know you know what i mean when when you see it in a couple seconds but like it's weird and i apologize and i don't know what happened nor do i know how to fix it so sorry about that i strained my hair for this one so i can make it all elegant and filled with braids and charms and beads and then after i did that it it got messy and i was like eh, i'll just let my hair do what it wants let it go wild I wanted to keep the jewelry very elegant and simple, so I have on these two gem chokers. This big swirly necklace is from East Meets West, and this Dreamcatcher necklace has a little crystal hanging off of it, which I thought was very fitting. This top is from DressLily.com. Don't chop there, that place is horrible, but I thought it really worked for the whole elf aesthetic because of the long flowy sleeves, the lace up the front, and the lace trim. So I was just walking in the forest, trying to find, you know, spots for shooting and I came across this I don't know if this is actually in frame because I can't flip my camera around but like there's a little gnome statue sitting in the roots of the tree that 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 took me that got me off guard I don't know I don't know how to react to this like I kind of want to take it but at the same time I don't know if I should I'm probably thinking far too much into this because it was probably just some like college student just placed it there to be funny, but like. <sighs> and this is like this. It was like, it, this is perfect because I am dressed as an elf and gnomes are in the elf realm. You know, they fall under the fae and elves are fae and like. It's just an interesting coincidence. I, at least I thought so. Uh. Alright, update. I picked up the little gnome guy and... 
That makes me feel a lot better. This is clearly straight from the human realm, not the elf realm. I sound like a fucking nutcase right now, but yeah, no, somebody definitely just placed that there. <laughs> not, nothing suspicious or supernatural. Not that I thought it would be, but like, you know, I want to know where this came from now. Cool. For earrings, I have these leaf-like clip-on elf ears from Spencer's, these swirly hoops to match the necklace, and a crystal. This belt is thrifted and I have no idea where these tights came from, but I thought they really worked for the whole look because they are a dark green and the pattern down the legs kind of reminds me of like Celtic symbols almost. And these are just some Walmart combat boots. Hey, it's editing Joanne again. I'm really excited to film an outro. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and to make in tomorrow to see the next costume for 31 Days of Halloween. Catch you in the next bit.